Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brony, and today um, I'm going to show you how to put tire sauce on your RC car. Yeah, I said tire sauce. Whenever I say that word, I when I keep saying the word sauce, I kind of I kind of want to eat something. Think about it. I'm kind of hungry. Anyways, um, I've seen if you guys go to you know local RC tracks. Uh, and you go to the carpet tracks, they kind of want you to use one of these things. And uh, normally they're like around $11 or $12, basically under 15 bucks, um, if you're gonna be driving on the carpet track. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually do that stuff or, and put some tire sauce on your tires to get extra grip. And that's basically what it does. It, it, it's, it basically kind of uh, grits better on carpet tracks. So um, um, I've seen people do WD-40s. I, I don't know how that how that's going to work out for me, but I'm just gonna do whatever how most people would be doing it. Now there are ma there are two major methods that most people do it. I know there are plenty of other methods out there, but the two the two major ones is number one they also they have to lift up the car. Obviously, as you can see, I got my mine lifted up. Oh, my my Vortex lifted up using two tracks to slash two wheel drive rims. And uh, and what they do is they put the tire, they put the tire sauce while the car is running. So they basically go like, you know, a little bit of throttle and then they just um, put the, um, the sauce around the wheel. That works, but some people think that looks, that looks hor horrible for it. Some people would do it the, the way that I'm going to be showing you is where you use a four-way wrench uh, and turn the wheel. So what you guys need is obviously the four-way wrench. Um, also, you need your tire grip sauce. Like I said, I keep getting, I, I, I think about food when I hear the word sauce. And obviously you need to keep, you need to have your car, uh, your RC lifted. So let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the foil wrench on the opposite wheel on what you're gonna work on. For this instance, I'm gonna be working on the uh, passenger side uh, rear wheel. So I'm gonna be putting the, I'm gonna be putting this four way wrench on the driver's side rear wheel. All you need to do is grab, grab your tire sauce and out comes this cute tip little thing. I, as you can see, it's, it's dirty because I already used it. Take off any of the excess uh, liquid out so you do not over overdo it. And all you just need to do is when you spin the tire, it will spin up the differential, will open up the differential. And all you just need to do is do this. I'm going to cover the whole tire, if you guys are wondering. And it works great too. I actually tried this on my, obviously on this Traxxas Fortec 2.0, out of my local track, and it works out great. It actually grips, um, which is kind of kind of a um, weird thing because you know these tires um, that come stock on the Traxxas Fortec itself is proven to be. Um, it's proven to be good to have good grip. So uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side, uh, off camera. So you basically get the idea. All you just need to do is just turn the, uh, use this on the opposite wheel on what you're working on and then just basically turn it. And then as, as it turns, just put the, the cotton or I would call it the Q-tip, the big Q-tip uh, part onto the tire and then just spin it, spin the wheel and then you get your stuff the, um, the tire sauce and how long does it drive you may ask it would just take maybe like under 10 minutes probably around seven to eight minutes at the at the um, at the least so i'm gonna do the same thing on the on the other tire and uh, off camera and i'll talk to you in a bit all right um now i already uh put some tire sauce on the rear tires I'm going to show you how to do this on the front tires now. Now, these are the Amazon tires, if you guys are wondering. Um, 
if you guys see my previous video on why I did not drive my Fortech, uh, when I was on my local RC track with my girlfriend, um, my hub of my tire blew off. So yeah, I got one tire down. Anyways, when you're working on the front tires, uh, especially when you're going to be using the tire, the tire sauce, it's it's kind of unnecessary to to uh, coat the whole the whole tire. But if you want to, that's fine. But um, while one of my uh, friends at the at my local RC track that I talked to, um, he he normally just does the inside of the tire because I mean that's really it's what's mostly gripping anyways it's mostly gripping on, on the inside of the tire so just like the what we did on the rears we're just gonna do the same thing with the fronts but this time we're I'm just gonna be working on just coating the inside of the tire Just like that. I got a little off there, but you know, you get the idea. So basically that's it. That's what's up right there. You don't really need to uh, coat the entire tire if you're just gonna um, put, if you're gonna um, put some of these grip, grip liquid on your front tire. But if you want to put it on the whole tire, that's fine. But um, I'm not stopping you from that, but yeah, so that's how you actually put tire tire sauce on your RC car tires, and this will guy this guys will give you uh, uh, extra grip around the carpet track, and you guys will be good to go. And yeah, so I'm going to coat the other tire with with tire sauce, and I will talk to you guys again later.